Hi, I'm John the Engineer Turmel, and this is the St. Paul's Provincial Ontario Election Debate Mob Scene uh, Newspaper Reports. Police called for St. Paul's Bizarre Chaos Farce Debate. As I had me emailed everyone, including my opponents, in my last post titled Crooked Debate Moderators in St. Paul's By Election As Usual, quote, I can tell you in the past that when I've been excluded from a question, I leave the stage and go pass out my literature until I'm invited back on stage to respond. I won't sit there like a lump on a log while the same four candidates keep getting asked all the questions." Unquote. So they knew what was going to be happening if they opened up the option of excluding candidates for their questioners, didn't they? Well, anyway, after the evening, you've seen the videotapes at YouTube and at MySpace. We'll take a look at the big reports from the Globe and Mail titled Police Called to Candidates Debate. It says by Joe Friesen, a candidate's debate in St. Paul's by-election briefly descended into farce last night as police were called in to rein in an independent candidate who refused to sit quietly while questioners ignored him. Well, I didn't see any police at all other than the car outside. John Turmel, who styles himself Turmel the Engineer, one of the five fringe or independent candidates contesting the race in St. Paul's, was upset at not being allowed to answer questions being directed to the four major party candidates. Acha was objecting to the fact they were directed, not that uh, I was one of the non-directees. He was asked several times to be quiet or leave, but refused, continuing to walk around the church hall where the debate was being held. An hour into the debate, a recess was called and a group of audience members confronted Mr. Turmel. Quote, you want to cheat me quietly? I won't be quiet, Mr. Turmel cried as he was surrounded. Quote, call the police, assault, you can't touch me, you can't touch me, unquote. The police were called, according to the event's moderator, but did not arrive for 45 minutes. They decided not to intervene at that point. The debate was eventually resumed. But Mr. Turmel continued to wander the aisles, objecting loudly each time a question was asked to the major candidates. When liberal candidate Eric Hoskins was posed yet another question, Mr. Turmel said, Oh, Eric again, give us a show, Eric, the one-man band. The drama overshadowed an exercise, otherwise tepid debate at the First Unitarian Congregation on St. Clair Avenue, in which most candidates turned their attention to criticizing the liberal government of Dalton McGinty. Then there was the Toronto Star, which said, High drama, hijacks debate. September 11, Rob Ferguson. Chaos erupted last night at a debate by nine candidates hoping to become the new MPP for St. Paul's in next Thursday's by-election, when an independent candidate rebelled after being denied the chance to answer questions from the audience. The debate was briefly adjourned and interrupted several times as fringe candidate John Turmel got off the stage and rambled around the church auditorium complaining loudly and repeatedly that he was being bypassed with questions aimed at candidates from mainstream parties. Why should I sit like a lump on a log, Turmel beefed aloud to the crowd after he abandoned the stage in frustration. This is democracy in Canada? He was threatened with ejection several times by the moderator of the debate, organized by the local town crier newspaper, McMillan's his name. Police were also called, and Turmel later returned to the stage and settled down. But only after a shoving match had ensued, and nearby audience members feared it might come to blows. Well, not from me. I wasn't the one upset. One supporter of progressive conservative candidate Sue Ann Levy held back an angry audience member who made a move towards Turmel, an engineer by training who was known in political circles for running in virtually every election he can. And I said, well, I wasn't one of those in a rage. As the debate began, Turmel told an overflow cloud of about 300 of the church hall in Midtown Toronto riding that he was not so much concerned about taxes the provincial government collects, but how the tax money is wasted. And finally, uh, St. Paul's article out of the uh, Toronto Sun, with by Antonella Artuso, which says, um, uh, wow, talking about the others for a while, didn't want to print them. In a bizarre twist, the meeting was halted briefly while one candidate, apparently angry he wasn't allowed to answer all the questions, began pacing the room and shouting, why should I sit like a lump on a log when I get excluded, independent candidate John Turmel said. So, Terry Parker caught an hour and a half on video 
and I've posted it in MySpace, maybe, well, 25 minutes worth, maybe the highlights at YouTube, I've done that too now, especially when I was surrounded by the angry mob. When they started grabbing me to throw me out, I wasn't about to fight back. They were ready to carry me out, so I had to shout, Call the cops! Assault! Call the cops! Trespass is not an indictable offense. You can't touch me. Call a cop. You need a badge. They did seem to wither away. Still, it's just like the time Tory, fearful Phil McCollman, ran out of a debate to call the cops on my loud mouth, and by the time they got there, everything had calmed down, and the debate was back to normal. This fluked because one man had the audacity to ask if he could have answers from all the candidates at one point, which got me back on stage in a quiet mood. No matter that there were a lot of angries, there were still people taking my flyer. So someday I'll get the time to edit the video. I've done it. It's at YouTube. You can go see it now.